Oh my god, I've tried to film this video like three fucking times and I start stuttering over my words and shit. Anyway, <laughs> hey what's up you guys, it's Dustin. I'm sitting in my car because I had to take Eric to an appointment. And of course, we woke up late. Well, I woke up late, Eric didn't wake up late. Um, and I'm sitting in the car. If you hear my air, it's because it's like 95 degrees. Here in North Carolina, my car just alerted me that there's like some kind of like severe heat advisory. The heat index is supposed to be like 106. So hide your kids, hide your wife. It's hot as hell out here today. Um, come through Mariah Carey because you said I'm thirsting for air and your ventilation, bitch. Come on now. It's, it's hot. It's not hot in this car. Like I'm, do you guys ever get like in between where it's like you're hot and you're cold like Katy Perry? I don't know. But, uh. You guys probably think I'm rambling. I'm going to get to the title of this video here in a minute. I just wanted to update you guys and say uh, I'm feeling better. I know that I put out my last video and like it was about Jeffree Star and I just want to address that for a second. Um, you guys like totally I get why people do not support Jeffree Star. And I didn't ever really say that I support Jeffree Star. I like Jeffree Star. He's a funny person. He's a character. And what he said in the past, I totally want to make it 150% crystal clear for you guys. I do not condone racism of any sort. What came out of his mouth should have never, ever came out of his mouth. I don't give a damn. He was 19 years old, 20 years old. He knew what he was saying, be it for shock value or not. I am totally, totally against racism. I'm a gay guy. I have, listen, like... I know that racism and homophobia are two totally different things, but I know what it's like to be like part of a minority, and I would never ever condone someone saying the things that Jeffree Star said, so don't get it twisted on that. Like I have so much respect for people that do not support Jeffree Star. Like I don't say, I don't buy Jeffree Star's products, I watch his videos, that's it. Like. At the core, everything, I really do think that Jeffree Star is really regretful for the things that he said. Um, I think that if he could go back in time and not say it, he would because it has just affected his life so much. Um, and rightfully so, it should. Like, if you say things like that and if you are discriminatory or racist or anything like that, I mean, you deserve to be called out for it. I don't think you should have to make an apology video every time somebody says something, but definitely, like, things like that do not go unnoticed, and it's something that he's going to have to carry around forever, but I do find the guy very entertaining. He's funny, and, like, his reactions to things and the, some of the shit he says is just fucking absolutely hilarious to me. So I just wanted to address that. No, you guys, I do not condone what Jeffree Star said in his past. And I have seen quite a few people on Twitter going really fucking hard on him. Oh, they're gurus. Like, I'm not going to say names uh, because I don't want to stir up any shit because I actually like the other guy. Um, but yeah uh, enough of that that is not what this video is about i just wanted to address that for a little bit because i do not condone racism racist people or anything like that uh i just believe in giving someone a second chance now i uh, i know a lot of people say that jeffree star apologized and then he went on this rant with jackie Ina. like i totally get that um i don't think that he was being racist in that that's just my personal opinion um but and i'm entitled to my own opinion um uh, but that's neither here nor there. But that is not what this video is about. Damn, Dustin, you went on a four-minute tangent about Jeffree Star. And Jeffree Star is not even relevant to this fucking video. Anyway, this video is about Manny MUA and Kyle Krieger. And if you guys do not know who they are, you got you guys know who Manny is if you watch me. You, you, you know who Manny is. Uh, <laughs> Manny MUA and Kyle Krieger were tweeting the other day. Now, every time that I see them tweeting, I always insert myself come on now like they are the cutest like i ship them so fucking hard it, it's insane but anyway kyle kiger 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 <laughs> tweeted that he was working on his first short film the other day and i was like hmm, okay and then i seen that manny tweeted at him and said something and then kyle kyle damn i can't talk i'm just stumbling over my words <laughs> he tweeted and said it was good to see you today so i was like 
Okay, so for those of you that may not know, Manny and Kyle did this video a while back and it was like, my grinder hookup does my makeup. And the rapport between them was just absolutely good. Like, you could tell that Manny was flirtatious and you could tell that Kyle was kind of like, he was kind of like nervous. But if you guys don't know who Kyle Krieger is, you should definitely go check him out. He is just like the cutest, well, not even cute, he's fucking hot. <laughs> and Manny is the cutest. And it's just funny to me that Manny doesn't have a boyfriend. Like, I really wish that Manny would have a boyfriend. Maybe he's just one of those people that's more comfortable alone, I don't know. But Manny is so sweet. Um... But they were tweeting back and forth, and they said it was good to see one another. And I tweeted something. It was like a little gif of SpongeBob. And I said, can't you two just go on a date already? Nothing happened with it. And then Manny liked my tweet. Manny, Manny, Manny. Like, you like all my tweets, boo. Like, you can just go ahead and follow me, please. Like, I'm an uber fan of Manny MUA. Why don't you just follow me? Your homegirl, Laura Lee, follows me. Like, come on. Um, but that, you guys, how cute would it be for Nathan, Jeffrey, Manny, and fucking Kyle Krieger to all be together and hang out as like a double date? I think that that would be so cool. I want Manny to have a boyfriend so bad. Like, Manny, I think he has a lot to give. And Kyle Krieger, like, I don't really watch too much of his videos. I am subscribed to him. Like, every once in a while, I'll watch. He is interesting. It's just, I don't think I have my notifications turned on. So, if I, I need to turn those on, actually, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, but, what do you guys think about this? Like, I know a lot of people, a lot of people that watch me are maniacs. I need to buy some merch. I need to buy some Manny merch. I think that I should, I don't wear hats like that, you know, I used to when I had like really bad acne before Manny made me buy good jeans and now I don't suffer from that, thank God. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Manny could find potential love in Kyle Krieger? I do because I think that they, they could make such a cute couple. Like they could do the cutest boyfriend tag on YouTube. Like they could do the cutest Q and A's like Manny Kyle I don't know that Kyle really watches a lot of YouTube videos but I know that Manny does if you see this please ask Kyle Krieger out on a fucking date can you do that can you do that for all of us gay people that like absolutely fanboy o over all of you big gurus could you please go on a date with Kyle Krieger and Kyle Krieger, if you ever see this, could you please ask Manny out on a date if he hasn't asked you already? My lord, please. I'm just, I'm over the moon. Like, they go back and forth. The banner is so good. I think it would be so cute to see them in a video together in a relationship. They ain't even got to be in a relationship. Just go on a date. Just one date to see what happens. Um... I did see that somebody tweeted a picture of Manny kissing a girl, and he was like, uh, yeah, that was just a good friend, <laughs> and it was an older picture, but it was hot, like, Manny, Manny is sexy, but <laughs> you guys, I know this video has been all over the place, uh, I just wanted to come on here and talk about my boy Manny, because you know I love him so much, and I think that him and Kyle Krieger should go on a date, I think that that would just be the cutest thing ever, I think that me and Eric are gonna go look at some furniture, I just painted my den yesterday, well one wall in my den, and my back is absolutely fucking killing me, I feel like a whore that has worked 12 hours on the street corner, like it is bad, and to top it off with this heat, it's hotter than the devil's taint out here, uh, in North Carolina so you guys let me know what you think below do you think Manny should go on a date should I go to a chiropractor because my back is breaking <laughs> but in all seriousness you guys like this is not gossip I just ship them so hard what are some other youtubers that you guys ship uh, or that you should ship or oh damn my fingers all up in the way like I'm recording with my phone not my camera <laughs> let me go let me guys I just, I, I'm not good at this talking thing like this. What is it? What is that? Let me, let me make sure that I get it right because people will come for me. They'll say, you use the wrong words. Like, I don't care. It's my fucking channel. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch. Manny says that. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say now. 
Oh well. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great day. Let me know what you think below. Do you think that Manny and Kyle Krieger should go on a date? Because I absolutely believe that they should. I think they're just the cutest thing. I hope you all have a good day. And I will see you on my next video. And like Lori Lee says, subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe! <laughs> Bye, guys.